Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to see how to automatically update text or numbers in a text box. So for example, I have a text box right here that's pulling from this number right here. And so if we update one of these items, let's say the high open issues to a five, that will update the total here, which updates our text box. Or this is the text box as well, pulling from the project status here of on track. So if we were to update this to at risk or something like that, then the text box updates as well. It's actually super easy. So let me switch over to another tab here. There's nothing really special going on here. This is just some shading on the top part here. And then these are just shapes. We don't have any text boxes yet. So to insert those, just come up to insert text box. Text boxes are great because they can go anywhere and float over other things on the worksheet. You can also format them differently than other things on the worksheet. So they could be good for dashboards or just any kind of formatting that you need to do. So here's our text box. I'm sure you're familiar. You just type in whatever text you want. But for what we're doing here, we want this text box to pull from this number right down here the total number of open issues. So I'll come back here and we'll delete this text. What we want to do instead is make sure that your cursor is not in the text box. Just select the outside edges of the text box here. And then up on the formula bar, type equals, and then click on the cell that you want to pull the text from. So in our case, B28, and then hit enter. And there you go. So you'll see that if you update anything here, that it's going to update in that text box. So the total is now 25, 70, and so on. And then I had just done some formatting, increasing the size, whatever you want to do to make it a little bit more impactful. But as far as updating the text, that's all you need to do. So let's do another one here for project status. I'll insert text box all the way over here. Draw that in on top of the shape. Then once again, make sure your cursor's not in the text box like it is right now. Click on the outer edge of the text box. Just make sure you have the border selected. Once again, in the formula bar up here, type in equals. Select the cell that you want to pull the data from. And then hit enter. There we go, on track. So if we were to update this to something else, at risk, for example, then that will update. And then just for more practice, let's insert a third one. Insert text box. And then over here, and I'll just draw this one in. Select the outside edges, again, making sure your cursor is not in there. In the formula bar, type equals. Select the cell. In this case, we want this to be the total actual budget. So cell E31 for me. And then hit Enter. And now, like all the others, if we were to enter some new data here to update the total, then that updates in our text box as well. So that's how to set up dynamic text in your text box. If you found this helpful, hit that like button for me. And also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.